Welcome, welcome Aries. I'm Key and this is our doorway. Let's see what's in store for you guys for July 2019. I pulled out two cards so far. So let's see what is the energy. What energy for Aries, sun, moon, and rising. Aries. Okay. And let's see. What is sacred? Sacred for Aries. for Aries. Okay, we're going to put this deck right there. All right. So Aries for July. Wow. Okay, so you've been taking action in Gemini. So what you want to be known, what is believed about, use the quickest way. So you're taking action on what you want to be known for. When we were young, we always heard, what do you want to be when you grow up? That's the energy that you're going to be thinking about. And using the quickest way and how to get there, what popped up in my mind's eye is not a quick rich scheme or a quick way to get there. Is more of what would be more effective for you. Hmm. And your present is phobias. This goes hand in hand. Whenever we're about to do something that we feel passionate about, it usually has a, a backdrop of phobia. It's like, um, again, I love singing or whatever you love to do. Imagine you going to the public and doing it. Now, it may, it is going to be scary because whenever we think of public, it's like those are people's, um, people watching to see what you are going to present about yourself. So that requires some type of vulnerability or Yeah, type of vulnerability of who you are and what you are passionate about. So when you present it, yes, it's intense because this is something that you really love. Yet when you do it, it's going to be so promising that others are going to want to be around you all the time to witness that. Wow. So, performers... Any performers out there, this is the season that people are going to be performing. Or when it comes to what you want to be a part of. There's so many things, physical activities, um, events. That's going to be right up your alley. So, let's look at the energies. So Aries, you're a fire sign. You're tapping into your emotions. So your childhood, okay, what you believe in, what you want to be known for. You have a celebration right here. And you're seeing that if you, you're tapping into your water energy. So that could be a Cancerian, what you're connected to, Scorpio, what you want to seek out, Pisces, the path. And in order for you to tap into your emotions, it's taking you back to back in the day when you were either six years old or 15 years old it's in your past life or in your past tense of who you are. 
you want to start something from your past that is emotionally tied to your childhood and a lot of others around you have been waiting for this because you have an audience you have the stage here to stand right on hmm something about the nighttime if you're around any water you might have seen this scene of who you're going to be because water is like our, our first mirror so you might have looked into the mirror and imagined what you were going to do and you're about to do it if this regards to anything in the past that you want to start back up again you're looking at that more closely wow you know you're the queen of fire. So you move forward. It's like you're making your queendom. Fairy tales. Wow. Something about fairy tales. When we hear of fairy tales, again, that what do you want to be when you grow up? Or far, far away in a long place, there was a queen. And in this queendom, they stood... A fabulous it's like it's something that you're creating wow and it's in the it's right in the forefront of what you're going to do and you're beautiful while doing it okay so you have the stage presence it's something about this you have the stage presence that's going to be standing out from the rest if you're a performer if this is in regards into what you want to start with yourself, you're going to realize that, wow, oh, self-confidence. Your self-confidence is going to be on fire. It's like you're, you're a furnace. You're smoking hot. No wonder you have water and fire. You're trying to balance that out. So from you hitting the stage or strutting your stuff, or wherever you go, people are going to recognize that you're fiery. They're going to want to flirt with you, want to get to know you face to face. Face to face. Mm, something about modeling, too. If you're looking at any modeling agencies or taking up modeling or something that requires you to be in the forefront, people are going to be eager to see what you got in store. You have been, you're, first of all, you're a very good student. You're a student that is now a teacher. All these books that you studied on your craft when it comes to what gets you fired up, what makes you feel like a queen? Even if this is for the masculine energy, what makes you feel like the king is something that will get you to the next level. Because you're going to be not only celebrated for it, but people are going to want to give you some very high accolades or accolades, if I'm saying it right. You're going to be rewarded for it. Ah, this is awakening something in you. Awakening something so deep. that other people are going to be aware of it. Again, something about your past, whatever you feel emotionally tied to, is definitely going to give you that, you're waking up, something about waking up. And this is in a Pisces, so you know your path. Your path is, the stage is yours. Your path is, you're making your queendom. The path is, Whatever you're passionate about, you're moving forward. But let me read this in a different way. Secretly. Or in the shadows. You're about to give something of yourself that is worthwhile. 
it's going to give you that reward that you've been looking for. So whatever you're starting, whatever you're stepping into, not only do you want it, but others want to celebrate how you walked into it. They see that you are a queen, that you have the energy, the emotions, and the engine to keep your momentum going and whatever you're about to start. And this is going to help awaken other aspects of yourself that can assist you on this. So what can assist you? It's like a stage. A stage is blank, like a canvas. And on the stage, you can put props. You could put certain elements that bring out your scene. So let's see. So you have a team here. And this team has that same eagerness like you with the aid of Earth. Agent. So I it's like um I thought of team, we thought of team. Your energy gave me a team, like a team player. But like any person, it's a team around you. So in order for that team to be around you, they got to have the same elements that you have to keep this forward. So say mm, you tended to a fire. In order to tend to a fire, you would have to have either water hmm, and someone from your eight crew could ask you like, well, what are you trying to start a fire on or what are you trying to tend to? Hmm. What is your talent? Ah, okay. So your talent, ah, talent agency. Or showing your talent in eight ways. So you might come out as a timid person at the beginning of your stage to show that not everybody that has stage presence is stage ready. Then all of a sudden, people would think probably you're a part of the, the audience while you're on stage. Next thing you know, they see you tapping, tapping on stage. You're like, oh, let me find out this person could tap. Next thing you know, you start to translate that in how you are talking. Like every beat has a translation. Or when you're singing, your singing has some type of dress or you dress yourself a certain way to accommodate what you're singing. If it's in regards to a boyfriend or girlfriend, like, say for instance, you that hot tamale that everybody wants to get to know. How can a person get to know a hot tamale? Like, how can I get to know this person when I don't even know their name yet? Hmm, let's find out how to figure out their name. Hey, you know that person over there? Yeah, the one that's talking? Yeah. Who, who that person is? Huh. That's Tammy. Oh, you Tammy? Hmm, Tammy. What does Tammy like? Like, being around the... I don't know. It's something. An, either a Scorpio is going to be checking you out. Or it's going to be a person that has fire in the chart. Aries, Sagittarius, like yourself. Aries, very action-oriented. Sagittarius, they like to, like, not only start something but they like to see it through or a leo that leads the way and make sure to laminate that yet they have water in their chart so they're they're using their intuition to figure you out aries oh okay this person okay they have air in their chart so this can be This is another fire sign. Say, for instance, this is an Aries. It could be a Libra 
or if this is a Leo. Hmm. So this person has air and fire. Hmm. So they, they're going to come to you. They're going to want to approach you. And they might have, this is, okay, so this is somebody from your past, Aries, that knows you. They know you either from abroad, either from a classroom, another person, a people. So this is somebody that you know either from your past or someone that you, y'all present each other. Something about presentation, y'all are around each other at some point in your atmosphere. And they're very articulate, they use their intelligence, they use their logic, yet underneath they're very fiery, which makes sense because air's opposite sign is fire, yet they have some water in their chart. So, so they got, hmm. And this person, again, they trying to figure out what is it, how to get you or how to figure out what you want. They're trying to find a way to not only want you, but to show how much they want you. So again, you see this celebration here. This could be a Cancerian that wants to celebrate with you, that wants to connect with you. Yet they probably have feel or felt like they failed. Something about failing the last time they approached you or not finding a way to get you Something about reconciliation. But again, we're in retrograde, so a lot of things was out of whack. That's why I, mm, chilling was not the option. Yet they feel that they missed the opportunity with you and they want to get it back with you. They have the cup of emotion that you're looking for. Yeah, they have a cup of emotions for you because they have that ace of cups. So their emotions is here. So maybe this person did not show their emotions to you and that's what you were trying to figure out. Now you're seeing that's not going to be the case anymore. Ten. Something about the number ten. So this can be either Capricorn and Capricorn's opposite sign is Cancer. So... You might have a Capricorn that has fire in their chart and possibly water, definitely air. So, for, so you give this person either 10 minutes of your time to explain what they really want from you. And you know that you want love in your life you know that you have first of all Aries you tend to what you want you have the talent to not only go after what you want but tending to it in a way where it triples in success where it gets you to be known as the boss in your world and when you tend, it's like tending to your garden or tending to the water, tending to your emotions, Aries. And that's another thing. Whatever you ask for, it's not like you're asking for something that's impossible. First of all, you're in an element that would look like it's impossible. You're a fire sign. So your dual nature or what you're determined to show a lot of times can be your air quality, which is your intelligence, your logic your leadership but you have been tending to your emotions equally you know how to even out your temper you know how to even out how you even talk to people in a way where they not only want you but they want to treat you the way that you treat them and that makes you a lover to a lot of people a lot of people want to love up on you Aries and they're not afraid to show that So whoever this person is, this can be a, a, a definitely an earth sign, Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn, that knows how to use other elements. I'm not surprised. I'm, mm, they can have this empress type of energy or emperor type of energy. Where empress or emperors, they have other elements. They know how to even out other elements within them. So maybe that's where they're starting at. 
this person can definitely see that they value you, Aries. Maybe it took some time to, a long time to, but they're seeing that they value what you are, not only as a person, your worth, your value, who you are as a whole package. So they're putting on their thinking caps now. That would explain why I was here. They're, they've been studying you for quite some time, Aries. Whoever this person is, they've been studying you for quite some time and they see that you match with they you match with them in every way. So yeah, now the student is becoming a teacher, Aries. So whoever this student was, whoever this person was or in your perimeter, they're gonna be teaching you a thing or two, or they're gonna be showing you, Aries, on what they want to not only reconcile with, what they want to reconnect with, but what they want to reunite. If that means taking some time out before the retrograde passes, so be it. But they're not going to push in. Ah, uh, so again, they had this. They were studying your cycle. Whoever this person was, Aries, they're studying your cycle, and they're seeing that in order to get you, they had to move the way you were not move the way you're moving, Aries, but have that counterpart. So, hmm, that's interesting. So it's like, say for instance, you Aries don't like to talk too much. They're seeing that how can they talk in a different way to attract you. Say you are an action person, Aries. To match your actions, they not only started articulating, but they use their emotions to balance that out and how they want to express themselves to you. So it's a mirror image. This can be a soulmate or a twin flame. And whoever this person is to you, Aries, they're definitely a healer too. So they might have had some selections. They might have had some serious... Um, yeah. It's like, I keep thinking side... Or, like when we get a meal, don't we get a side order? Or don't we get appetizers to complete that meal? Who does not whenever we go out? Yet, after all those appetizers, after all those course meals, they chose you as the main course. And that might seem a little shallow. Maybe I'm saying a little shallow. But it's real. Like, when we have to relate this to the real world. When we go out and we are starving, do we just get what we're starving for? No. Sometimes we get a juice or water. Sometimes we get soda. Sometimes we get a particular meal to go with the appetizer. Then we got to think about what kind of appetizer we want with the meal. Is that more than one thing? Yes. But that is a complete thing to satisfy our craving so maybe at times it might have felt stagnant or downright sad to see your significant other or someone that you hold close to have selections yet as a human being do we go after people that don't have people admiring them or see them as a selection no we usually go at the ones that do. So Aries, I think that was something that what you want to be known for is if you have selections, then you know the person that you like has selections. What do you believe about? And your quickest way to get there. So it's like either it is you that is taking on this action as a Gemini or this person in your environment is taking on the action. Their heart is leading them to look at a how to tap into their Gemini nature and go after you in that sense. Because again, fire's dual nature is air. So that would explain it. Okay? And they might have phobias of this relationship. Let's see why. Aries. This person, again, you, you made some changes in your environment. Maybe you've been tired, Aries, of looking at this person with another. Or maybe this per or maybe this person is was getting like becoming uh, 
how do I want to say it? Like, it feels like, like, they're not a coward. They're nothing like that. But it's like courteous, okay? They want to be courteous that you would have selections, Aries. Like, say, for instance, it's you. You have selections. They want it to be courteous that, of course, you should have selections. Of course, you should explore and see what's out there while they were looking in the shadows. Or if this is you, maybe you got tired of looking at your an, another person that you are into with other people. And yeah, you still have fire for them. Yeah, it made you aware that you want them in a particular way. In what way? You want, again, it's something about the options. You want to know that this person feels penetrated by you, feels passionate towards you. Like, you want... Your sensuality and sexuality to ma it's like something about seduction. You how they seduce you is how you want to seduce them. You want that equilibrium, but yet have that freedom at the same time. And maybe this is the person also. How the person feels is they see you as their empress. Ah, I was wondering, I was like, it's it not got to be an empress coming out here soon. So yeah, they see you as an empress. They see you as their everything. And you definitely know how to raise their libido or their stamina. You bring out the lover quality of them. And they see you as, again, it's this smoking hot, like very exotic. You entrance them, Aries. To the point that, wow, if it's not about them that you speak of, they don't want to hear it. Mm. Okay, we got that person might be a little territorial. All right. So, wow, so you went from Aries to. Leo. So, you have definitely have the opportunity to show who you are as a person to this person. And you know how to not only shine that light, but again, it's something about seducing. You know how to seduce this person. This person knows how to seduce you. That makes sense. They had to do some homework on it. But when you love something or when you want something, when you want something really bad, you do homework on how to get it. It's like, I want this person. What is this person like? Well, they like a person that is action-packed. Well, I got to figure out how to be more action-packed. This person likes to show emotions. I got to figure out how to show my emotions. It's like, this person wants to dedicate so bad to you, Aries, that they're tired of looking at other options. They know they have other options. They know that people want them to. Yet, it's something about, they don't, if they are, if they do have other suitors, Aries, they see, they, yes, they see their suitors, but they always, but they kind of see their suitors with a little bit of tox, toxic nature in them, a little devilish nature. Maybe they like other suitors because it brings out the daringness of who they are again this could be a water if it's not an earth sign it could be a water sign pisces cancer scorpio yes that has earth in the chart and it, it's something about who you are kind of simmers down that devilish nature which is not a bad thing it's more of they don't want to bring a relationship into a toxic one. So if you experience a toxic relationship with them before, they don't want to bring that in in the now. So if they've been, if, if it's you and another person, it's that pro and con. What is it about you that makes them go towards you than that other person? And again, we are human beings. We we like a person when 
that person likes us, yes. But we get more triple excited when we know the person that we like has other people that like them. It's this, when would we know to cut it off? So, they see that you are sticking to your guns, Aries. Whatever you want to start, whatever you want to see through in any type of relationship on any stage, so be it. You have the last word, and that's what they're starting to realize. Why? Because they see that, they know that you know about their options too. And if they want to keep this cup of love or a cup of emotions going, they see that writing it out is not going to, to cut it because they know that you could be with another person at any moment. You know that they could be with a person at any moment. It's again, it's this mirror image. They see you as a person that they want to give they self to. And vice versa. Again, that vulnerability is here. But again, the vulnerability has to go both ways. It can't just be you vulnerable showing who you are and this person showing half of their vulnerability. Maybe that was the issue before. So... Let's see. How can this person of Aries show equal amounts of dedication? Six of air. Showing you that they see things looking up with you. Showing you that they see success with you. Showing you that... They see that you are that stage that they want to not only stand on with you, but create the scene with. How you look at this person, Aries, you see that this person always brings out the passion in you. That they always bring out the purpose in you. That they show you how to be that pillar for the people. And to... Be who you want to be known for. So, if this is in regards to a relationship, what do you want this relationship to be known for? Do you want it to be known for a side piece? Do you want this relationship to be known as a main course meal, the main person? Do you want your do you want your relationship to be known as friends with benefits? Do you want your relationship to be known as simply friends? Because whatever you want in your life to be known for, it's going to have a certain element, a certain stage that has to go with it. So if you want to have a relationship without um, any side pieces, then again, that gives you an understanding of what needs to be around you for that to happen. Because everybody wants a relationship. But what is it going to take for you and this person to set it up accordingly? All right. And that's what you may be thinking when it comes to this person. Because you're awakened. You woke up. You know what you want, Aries. So it's all about seeing how this person fits into it. Alright, if this reading resonates with you, press the like button, share, and subscribe. If you would like to get a further reading, look in the description box below. Thank you for allowing me to be in the Akashi Records Library with you. We will see you on the other side.